Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos' net worth just crossed $100 billion, the first time in modern history that a person has been known to hold such a massive amount of wealth. But HES still far from African King Musa Keita I, who is thought to be the richest person of all time, richer than anyone could describe, reports Time. Literally. His fortune was incomprehensible, Times Jacob Davidson writes there's really no way to put an accurate number on his wealth. He ruled the Mali Empire in the 14th century and his land was laden with lucrative natural resources, most notably gold. His vast wealth was only one piece of his rich legacy, reports Jessica Smith in a TED original lesson. Read on to learn more about the legendary king and see what it was really like to be the richest person in history Musa Keita I came into power in. 1312, when he was crowned, he was given the name Mansa, meaning king. At the time, much of Europe was famished and in the middle of civil wars, but many African kingdoms were thriving. While in power, Mansa Musa expanded the borders of his empire tremendously. He annexed the city of Timbuktu and re-established power over Gao. All in all, his empire stretched to about 2,000 miles. Mansa Musa was in charge of a lot of land. To put it into perspective, he ruled all the parts of modern-day Mauritania. Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, and Chad. The rest of the world caught wind of his great fortune in 1324, when he made the nearly 4,000-mile pilgrimage to Mecca. He didn't do it on the cheap. Not one to travel on a budget, he brought a caravan stretching as far as the eye could see, reports. Smith. Chroniclers describe an entourage of tens of thousands of soldiers, civilians and slaves, 500 heralds bearing gold staffs and dressed in fine silks, and many camels and horses bearing an abundance of gold bars. On his stop in Cairo, he spent so much gold and donated so much money to the poor that he caused mass inflation it would take years for the city to fully recover from the currency crisis. The extravagant journey put Mansa Musa on the map, quite literally. Material riches weren't the king's only concern, says Smith. As a devout Muslim, he took a particular interest in Timbuktu. He urbanized the city of Timbuktu by building schools, mosques, and a major university. He also built the legendary Jinga Rubber Mosque in Timbuktu, pictured below, which still stands. After reigning for 25 years, Mansa Musa died in 1337. He was succeeded by his son, Maganai. The king's rich legacy persisted for generations and to this day, there are mausoleums, libraries, and mosques that stand as a testament to this golden age of Mullah's history, says Smith. Read more this chart is easy to interpret it says we're screwed how Uber became the world's most valuable startup. These four things could trigger the next crisis. In Europe read the original article on Business Insider UK, copyright 2016. Follow Business Insider UK on Twitter. More about world's richest man Mansa Musa reuse content.